pistols I might murder your gang 2020 when I come with the bang 30 so they don't go in my aim what is up guys, it's your boy Fing Ding Fighter, and today was quite the big day. Um, so, I'm going to be giving you guys some knowledge right now. KNOWLEDGE! And basically, now, I'm going to teach you how to win the this challenge. So, uh, by the time this video is up, I'm at currently 10 wins, so this is my replays. Um, I'm currently at 10 wins, so hopefully I can win this thing and show you guys it. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, you just want to like, I'll explain it, I'll explain it, or, okay, so you want to, um, see the two cards that you have to pick, and then say you have a, um, log and, what the hell is the thing called, um, oh, actually, before I start, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone. Um, because these last videos, you know, we've gotten quite a few views on, and, uh, thanks for watching them all, guys, and, uh, remember to subscribe if you're new, and turn on the bell for all the new videos that I post, and, uh, yeah, but like I was saying, say you have a goblin gang and a log, what are you gonna choose? Um, your instinct is probably goblin gang, um, cause it's a really good card, but, um, you wanna go with the log, cause it will cancel out the... <laughs> It will cancel out the Goblin Gang, and um, basically you want to figure out the cards that will best suit the card, the deck you already have, and what will cancel out the cards you give to them. Um, so yeah, also, it's just also part of your preference. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going over these videos and explaining. So number um, number one, you always want to like read their pushes, know what they have in their deck, um, no, number one, know what you give them, uh, know what they give you, and you always want to be aware of your elixir. So you don't want to, like, just go blow your elixir on one push. You want to kind of, like, save it. Like, right there, I'm being prepared for if he puts, like, minions or something to help out the princess. But clearly he didn't. And, uh, yeah. So also, you want to pull troops all over the place, like that mini P.E.K.K.A., I spread out my troops like a bomber and an ice wizard. I don't put them right next to each other because that's just stupid. And like right here, I get my fireball ready, hover it over the musketeer. If he places anything, he doesn't. I'm still going to fireball it anyways, just so because my tower was on low health already. Um, so basically, now I'm going to put a Tesla, uh, Put a get ready to put a princess, which put a royal giant, which the frickin' expo didn't target, unfortunately. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he tried tornadoing that, which kind of worked out in my favor to go out, to go against that. So, see, right here, he pushes, he pushes with everything he's got, or he pushes that, um, what do you, what the fuck, what's it called, the rocket. He uses up his elixir, so I go for a push, which didn't really end up happening, and I know that I got two of those two to help me out, so I can just fireball those. Um, but basically, yeah, if you lose, you don't want to get all upset because then you'll panic and you'll make stupid decisions in your next battle. So you just want to kind of take a slow... Oh my god, look at that. What a dummy. He just... Tornado nothing. Okay, yeah, right there. See, he's got a rocket. I save my Ice Wizard until he rockets it. And then I put a bunch of shit behind it. So now, basically, we want to, like, get the uh, Royal Giant to get some hits off. And uh, also, if you have a royal giant, you really want to put it right there, because that's a very effective place to put it. But then again, he has a tornado, um, which kind of sucks for me. But anyways, spread your troops out uh, around the... Like, right there, I spread... I uh, get my arrows ready, so... You always want to have cards ready in case he does something with them. Um, but yeah, you also want to get tanky troops to help your support troops out. But that was absolutely stupid of him, rocket that... Uses up all his elixir. Uh, I'm going to put my royal giant there with his expo. I probably should have just put it in the middle, but whatever. Um, and anyways, yeah, unfortunately that mini P.E.K.K.A. went in the wrong place. Um, but yeah, the heal spell can actually be quite deadly, honestly. Like, I, I was versing a guy, he had a wizard. And uh, he used the heal spell at the right time. And freaking damn, I underestimated that wizard. But yeah, so basically at this point the guy's just trying to rocket my tower. Um, and he used up his tornado to pull my princess, and I know that, so I'm going to put my royal giant down there, and he is dead. Uh, so that is battle two down of the tournament, I believe. 
And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm currently at 10 and uh, 2. So, hopefully we can pull these last two battles out and get that 100 heal spells. Because that would be absolutely amazing for this account. Because this isn't actually my account. This is my brother's, and it's only an... Um, I can ice peak or whatever. So yeah, that would be crucial. Like right there, skeleton army I know is the best card, best card, the fucking shit, the best card in the game in my opinion. And uh, I always have it unless there's like a log or something. Um, so yeah, we got furnace, and we're gonna go with the fur. He uses his electron sparky furnace knight, and uh, we're gonna put a lumberjack down as well. So hopefully it's still some damage. Uh, see, thankfully, the tower targets the knight, which is very, very good. And we're just going to spread the skeleton army out around the sparky. Um, so, yeah, that will that takes it down, thankfully. And, um, yeah, like I said, you just want to always pull your troops. Like, right there, furnace. Some people will pull it behind the tower. I mean, that's okay. Um, but, okay, right here, we're just going to put musketeer. And I have my ice wizard ready in case I need it. I probably won't, so we're just going to hold off on that. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to put the princess up there with the musketeer and the furnace. So once again, if he places anything, we take it down easily, which he put a heal spell. Bastard. Um, but, yeah, anyways, hopefully that, that... I don't think that dragon... See, the furnace is a pretty good card, actually. Um, so right now we're going to try to get down that right tower. So we're going to go knight, lumberjack... And I would say we'd be prepared with the poison, but yeah. Oh my god, look at that. The lumberjack thankfully went for the tower. So it's going to take out the tower and then take out the sparky. So that was quite the play right there. And uh, then we're going to put the musketeer in the back, you know, conserve our elixir. Uh, yeah, also, guys, tell me what... He, oh my god, he just... Okay. He put the lightning, so we're going to go... We're going to go with a lot of stuff here. Uh, also, say you do have lightning, you kind of want to save it for when he puts stuff behind your tower. Like, if I had lightning, he put a musketeer behind it or something. I, or, like, a dragon right there, I would wait for the dragon. Um, but, yeah, tell, tell me what you guys think of my last videos. I quite enjoyed making them, but they are time-consuming to make. So, if you guys enjoyed, it would be really be appreciated if you left, let, leave a like on those videos. Um, yeah, my last video actually got quite a few views overnight so that was pretty happy that was I was pretty happy about that and uh, anyways we take this tower down here oh my god he tried to <laughs> he just tried to heal his tower uh, also guys if you don't know the heal spell does not work on towers I repeat it does not work on towers so you may as well just not even try um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it's helpful comment when you get on this challenge and uh, remember to subscribe and tell your friends about it thank you